Today is day one of the trial against a sailor accused of setting the USS Bonhomme Richard on fire in 2020. Prosecutors began opening statements by saying this was a, quote, mischievous act of defiance gone wrong. Defense attorneys say the Navy is using seaman recruit Ryan Mays as a scapegoat and built a case around pinning the blame on him, ignoring other potential suspects. CBS 8's Kelly Hessedal joins us live from Naval Base San Diego with what happened today in the courtroom. Kelly? That's right, and that is something that has changed since the Article 32 hearing. Uh, prosecutors were calling this an act of sabotage. Now they're calling it a mischievous act of defiance gone wrong. So trial got underway at about 10.30 this morning. Uh, cameras are not allowed inside the courtroom, but we did catch a moment with Seaman Mays as he was leaving the courthouse. Take a look. Hey, guys. I just want to say I appreciate what you guys are doing. Thank you very much. No comment at this time. And that video was shot as Seaman Mays was leaving court for the afternoon lunch break. Uh, I can tell you inside the courtroom, uh, the 21 year old sits at the end of a table, his three military attorneys next to him. Uh, Mays has chosen a bench trial rather than a jury trial, so it is a judge who will determine his fate. And if found guilty, it is a judge who will sentence him. Now, after opening statements, prosecutors called to the stand sailors who were on board the Bonham Richard when the fire started. A big part of the government's case centers on a witness who claims he saw Mays go into the portion of the the ship where the fire started, known as the Lower V, before the flames erupted. However, defense attorneys say that witness has changed his story several times. Uh, prosecutors have painted a picture of Mays as a disgruntled sailor who was upset at the Navy after dropping out of Navy SEALs training. Uh, they say he was basically assigned janitorial duty and didn't like it. Defense attorneys say the Navy became so focused on Mays that they have ignored other potential suspects and have gathered evidence that fits their narrative. Attorney Gary Barthel is serving as a consultant for the defense. He represented Mays for his Article 32 hearing. Uh, but no longer represents him. Here's what he told me after day one of the trial. As you heard from some of the witnesses who testified today that the uh, lower V became a dumping ground. And uh, there were a lot of things that were stored down there that should not have been stored down there. Um, and I think uh, we'll have to wait and see what the evidence reveals, but it's very possible and very likely that some of the things that were stored down there that were not supposed to be stored down there could have been a cause for the, the fire in this case. And so that is one theory from the defense trying to cast doubt on all of us, basically saying there's a possibility that this could have been an accident. However, experts for the prosecution say this was arson. Uh, this trial is scheduled to last two weeks. Carlo and Jesse. Now, Kelly, as you mentioned earlier, he chose a bench trial rather than a jury trial. What was Barthel's take on that? Well, Barthel told me, or he pointed out one thing, which is the convening authority that ordered this case to go to trial is the same authority that would be choosing the jurors for this case. So he says, you know, you eliminate any potential bias in that sense by choosing a bench trial. Uh, he also pointed out, you know, there was a lot of emotion from the sailors over this fire burning down the ship. So he, in his opinion, a judge would have uh, or base more of this on evidence, on the facts, uh, wouldn't allow emotion to get involved in this and would would lean more on the uh, credibility of the witnesses. So to him, it didn't surprise him at all that uh, Seaman Mays chose to go with a bench trial. A lot at stake here for Seaman Mays, his freedom for the Navy. Uh, they would like to defer some of the blame for this destructive fire. Kelly Hessel reporting live for us. Thanks, Kelly.